I think when we uh, consider MR, we're always looking at multimodal imaging because we're combining different sequences to actually look at different tissue characteristics. So for example, in um, an MR exam, you can look at different structural uh, volumetric measures and you can combine that looking at iron, uh, neuromelanin, diffusion parameters. And that has, uh, I think, uh, a very big advantage for MR actually studying neurodegenerative diseases and especially PD. And in the last years, I think this technique has allowed for patients just in one single exam to be able to um, get all this study done, actually look at, uh, looking at different uh, disease uh, characteristics. And that has enabled not only its application in clinical practice, but also uh, in research. And that has grown immensely in the last, in the last years. I think uh, now we really have imaging biomarkers of uh, Parkinson's disease and starting in uh, very early stages, and especially concerning neuromelanin and uh, nigrosum 1 imaging with SWI, I think you get very high sensitivity and specificity of these measurements to uh, be able to diagnose Parkinson's disease in early disease stages. So, uh, and, and again, if you combine that with other information from um, a volumetric a structural imaging of the brainstem metrics and iron, you can get really good, um, not only diagnostic, but differential diagnosis uh, with atypical Parkinsonism in very early stages. And I think that's a very big advantage.